today's video um i want to talk about my biggest insecurity basically so um this is something i've really dealt with all my life and um it has affected me in different ways basically but um, i wouldn't really say that it has affected me in a very bad way but like i mean there are restrictions to what i can do and what i can do basically but let's get into it so i have a skin condition called tinea vasicola it's a fungal infection basically that i was born with it's passed from one offspring to another so basically the only person that has it in my family is just my mom so i guess i got it from my mom and maybe my mom got it from somebody i don't know but like it's not contagious basically it's not something that um it's not like um chicken pox that um if you touch somebody you, you're gonna get it or like ebola or all those kind of thing but like it's not contagious basically a lot of people don't really know about it in nigeria it's kind of similar to eczema but it's not eczema so i'm just going to define it i wrote it down to um in case you guys see me looking down i'm just trying to read what it is and it's not that i don't know about it of course i have a skin condition but i want to be like be really more detailed so um here it says tinea vasicola is a fungal infection of the skin the fungal interferes with the, the normal pigmentation of the skin resulting in small dis discolored patchy so it's basically any of you would be familiar a lot of people would be familiar with vitiligo so this is a picture of vitiligo but vitiligo has like um basically this guy this like is like your this the pit some pigment in your skin gets lighter than the other like whiter than the other it's the same as it's kind of the same as um tinea vasicola the only difference is just tinea vasicola has smaller patches instead of the bigger brother ones and tinea vasicola goes away with time but it also comes back it's not something that goes permanently at least i've not done my research at that point but like for as long as i can know um it comes like at least three times in a year i have it like three times in a year and all i just have to do is just use basically over the counter ointments and creams and it goes off but it's not permanent like it comes back again so um the way this um, thing that's affected me is it's just basically um I, you can't really have it on the on the lower part of your body and mostly it's mostly on your chest back hands right now i have it on my hands but i'll just take a picture and show you guys i kind of have it on my hands right now and it's refusing to go i don't know why maybe it's yet to stay but i'm trying to embrace um i'm just trying to embrace it because it's not a bad thing so um yeah the thing that it has restricted me from doing is just wearing explosive clothes i can sometimes if i have it on my chest i can't really wear clothes that are exposing my chest and sometimes i can't wear clothes that are exposing my back and um things i can i can do or i can't do basically um i can't back with hot water because um it triggers it it is one of the triggers of the disease basically infection i don't know if it's either ways it is one of the triggers so i can't i can't back with hot waters and if i back with hot water it goes um, red like extremely red and itchy so most times i'd be at least like 300 and 60 days in a year but for cold water like very cold water it calms my body and makes my um, skin at least um not too dry not too oily however i can't really cream my body because my body can get oily because my skin get oily it triggers it as well then another thing is um i can't be under the sun for too long so yeah i can't be under the sun for too long that triggers it as well 
like I said, anything eats triggers it. So um, yeah, and um, I think I actually hate when people point it out to me because I think everybody always ever had like a skin condition. It's this. We hate when people point out our conditions because I mean we already know it's there. A lot of people are already insecure about their skin condition. You pointing it out to them makes them feel more insecure and makes them feel like they are being careless. Like, excuse you, it's my skin. I've seen it in the mirror. I look at the mirror almost every morning and then I know that it's there. So like why are you pointing it out to me again? Like so like I feel like if you're someone that does something like that, like you need to stop like people feel insecure. You might mean good of course but like you just need to stop. <laughs> We don't like it. I hate when people point it out. I know it's there, it's just leave it. Um, you know, so um I'm not restricted to any food, any kind of food, except like maybe something so oily. I can't really eat something so oily, but let me tell you guys, I eat plantain like almost <laughs> every time. I was even like restricted to plant plantain because of my height. But come on, I know the year what I love plantain, I'm so sorry. So yeah, um, that's just basically it about my skin condition, Tiniaba's color. This this point, I wanted to point out, a lot of people, when you see about Tiniaba's color, a lot of people in Nigeria always think it's eczema. That's not eczema, it's Tiniaba's color. There's a difference between eczema and Tiniaba's color. Eczema flares up, like it has like redness and it's extremely more itchy than, um, Tinea has color. That's eczema, right? And a lot of people always feel like if you have skin conditions, you don't take care of your skin very well or something like that. That's a lie. There are some skin conditions that you can't like um, prevent, basically, like Tinea has color. Like you can prevent it. It comes whenever you want and it goes whenever you want. When I, I remember when I was in high school, people would always think it's because, oh, um, they will assume I'm dirty or like I don't take care of my skin or I don't have my bath. Excuse you. I went to Body House and anybody who goes to Body House in Nigeria knows that everybody, almost everybody, have their baths twice, at least twice every day. And mostly three times every day. That's like in the morning before you go to class, in the evening before you go to prep class, then after prep class. I only have my bath like three times every day. So, like, yeah, even if I have my bath like 10 times in a day. It still won't prevent it. It's something that is hereditary. So, like, bro, you need to mind your business. Like, every skin condition has its own triggers. It's not necessarily because their skin is dirty or like they, they are dirty or they don't know how to take care of themselves. Some can just be, pre pre be prevented. It's just like pimples. Like pimples comes and go. Like in teenagers, even adults and stuff. There's not like there's there's literally no cream for pimples they are just like preventions and something that can take it away um temporarily and then it's just still come back so it's just it's just the same thing as um tiniava's color and vitiligo vitiligo is even like worse like that one is like permanent like i'm not sure that it can even go in go away so if you have any skin condition, if you have any insecurity, I would advise that you just embrace it. There's really nothing you can do about it. Let people talk, let people um, assume things. Me, like this, I don't even explain to people anymore. Like, And the one I hate the most is Nigerians don't know the difference between Tinea Vascola and eczema. They just come in your ears, that's not eczema your body. Excuse me, it's not eczema, it's Tinea Vascola. Like, don't misdiagnose what is on my body. Do your researches before you, like, you point out things to me. So, yeah. So um, that will be the end of this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it's education, I hope you lot got one or two things from this and stop injecting insecurity in people's minds and um, mind you, this, um, I mean every, I think every skin condition actually drives people into depression and emotional distress and stuff but for me it's different, like it has never like been an emotional issue for me of course like i always wish my skin was perfect but it doesn't really bother me except when i want to, when i have like this really nice dress and i want to show my chest or like my back and they're like the thing is just there like nah you can't 
yeah there are a few bad boys not that deep still so yeah anyway this is the end of my video i hope to see you guys in my next one